Kelly Crafts with Ann Butler. Hi, Ann. Hi. You are up to so many wonderful things, stamps and inks and paints, and uh, I'm amazed. Can Thank you tell you. us a little bit about all the things that you're doing? Well, I came up with a line of rubber stamps that you can use to create backgrounds and faux quilting, and they're actually, actually patent pending. So what they are are stamps that have no lip on them. Okay. So they can go together like a puzzle and Excellent. you can stamp out a block. So you don't have to do the sewing part. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> That's like brilliant. Quick and easy. Brilliant, brilliant. <laughs> Quick and easy. And you have now inks that match your line and... I have my own color palette with Clear Snap and I have paint that has just launched at the show with our safe finishes that match. Oh, they're, um, the colors are beautiful, by the way. I love the Thank colors. You. And you have a really cute little project in store for us. We have this adorable little banner, which would be beautiful in little girl's room or a baby's room. We're both grandmas. Yeah. And we hate to admit that. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you show us how to make this? This is so cute. Okay, this was simply a piece of canvas and you can cut it however big you want okay. it, depending upon the letters you're using. And I have a Flourish alphabet stamp set that it's clear so you're able to see through the block as you're stamping. And I'm just gonna stamp out Dream along the edge here. And I'm working upside down, so if it's a little crooked, it's because my eyes aren't seeing correctly, maybe? But it, you just take your letters and stamp all the way across. You can use any, you know, because whatever, create and imagine so can see this process how easy it is to do the quilting then when you can see right to where to lay the next um, block right the the letters were just an extra set i had to have i know the, in there a beautiful set and a great size too okay so to create it i would stamp dream across here and i would heat set it because okay. the inks you need to heat set okay. those but we're going to set that aside and we're going to create the lace okay Oh, lace. That was my cue. Which lace? The three-tiered lace. Okay. So it's a ruffle at the bottom, and I buy yards and yards of white lace. Okay. Because then I can color it to whatever I want color-wise. And so you can take these daubers and just ink up your, mm -hmm. your ink. Just take your ink, and I'll go on here, and I'll color it. And I'll go in one area, and then I'll come up here maybe in another area. Oh, I'll do a lot okay. of one color. Okay. And then you can just keep go into your next color and li lift your lace up. and. You just keep layering the color. So I'll bring this one in so as you're doing that, we right. can see. So like you see, here's the purple here and here. But when you lift up the lace, oh, yeah, that's beautiful. What yeah. a pretty So it's just effect. an easy way to do it. So I'll do this. And to heat set this, I might use a heat gun. Okay, okay, And Perfect. to do the flowers, I do them the same way, only I use a flat lace. Okay. So I would just color it whatever color I wanted, and mm -hmm. I'd do the whole thing. Okay. And for this particular one, I made clay buttons out of Macon's clay, because okay, it's air dry. Air dry clay. And that way I was able to use, roll out the clay, and I was able to use one of my stamps to create. And you're doing that right after you roll it out while it's still Right, before not it's dry. dry. Okay, right. perfect. So, and then I'll use one of their cutters to cut whatever shape oh, I okay. want. okay, great. Let them dry, and then I can take and put it right on there, or I can take the dauber again, just to give this a little bit of color. Oh, that's great. You know, so, I mean, you can go around the edges mm -hmm. or whatever you want, but to make the flowers, I take some craft glue. I use Fabric Tech. I love Fabric Tech. I know, right? And I just put a generous amount. I was going to say that's a very nice, generous amount on there. It is. I'm. I don't have this all colored, but I'm just going to show you the process. I just fold down the edge, and then I just sit and pleat it. Okay, so you're just kind of gathering it with your fingers. Yeah. You go. To create all of the pleats, and I go all the way around. And when you're done, you have a finished how flower. How easy is that? Isn't that easy? And I'll show the back. Oh, that's so cool. So easy. 
So I would make three flowers or however okay. many flowers I'm gonna do. And then I'd bring the canvas back in. And we're gonna work this way because it'll be upside down. And then just grab some great ribbon. Okay. And I thought this ribbon was too wide okay. for the stems. So I just twisted it oh, to make okay. it thinner. Did you put a little glue on it while you were twisting? Not while I not while I was twisting. I took and I made a line. Oh god! Oh, that's so easy. Made the line, mm -hmm. and I wasn't sure if it was going to work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. I love experimenting. Don't you? That's so great. <laughs> you know, because you're twisting it. I honestly wasn't sure if it was going to work and if it was gonna hold, but this glue holds so great. And then I just laid it in here. I have to get my fingers in there. Right, and what's great, this glue, if you get on your fingers, you rub it and it's gone. So I just laid it, and it's okay at this top edge, if it's open a little bit more, because oh, you're gonna put the, the flower, flower on top of top. it. I just laid it and trimmed it, and I let it dry. Uh, you trimmed it after it dried. Well, I, I, I trimmed it, but oh, I see the end off. So, I just yeah. trimmed the end off. Okay. But yeah, I just let it dry for about two minutes, okay. and it was fine. So I did all three of those. This one isn't being cooperative. That's okay. So then you just add a little bit more glue, but you're going to put your lace over it too. Okay. In the end, I, I have a piece of lace here, so you would glue your lace mm -hmm. at the bottom after you had all three. Now, when did you put the little leaves on? After I put the flowers on. After oh, okay. I had Sorry. all three on. No. <laughs> Glue the and flowers on so I could determine. Yep. And for the leaves, I just folded it, folded it in half and made a little V. And this was already glued down okay. because, of course, I was testing again. Maybe you would have done it beforehand then you wouldn't know where you wanted it to land after right. the flower either. So. so just a little tiny bit of glue. And then I just tucked it right under there. Oh, that's perfect. So quick and easy. Yes, very quick and easy. And then if you want to put on that one, I have a little butterfly. Okay, let's well, bring this one in. Although it's missing its little antennae. <laughs> Very free form, right? But I have in the, they're the easy, they're called easy D's, easy design elements, okay. that my stamps. So I just took two of them. Okay. They're triangles to create a butterfly shape. Oh, cute. And okay. then just stamp that out. Stamp them up. And then you just glued the lace over the The bottom. lace to the bottom and I added trim at the top. Isn't that cute? So easy to hang on your wall. And thank you for bringing this great project to us and sharing all your new wonderful products and the best of luck to you. And what do we say? When creativity knocks, open, open the, the door. door.